it's Zach Brinker again from alphaenergymethod.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing some helpful uh, tips regarding what the best diet could be for you. I know you may be watching this video and you may be kind of puzzled as to what diet to try, what diet to uh, implement into your lifestyle currently. You may have tried everything under the sun. So this video is going to help with that specifically. So if you find this helpful, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe down below, tap that like button, and comment your biggest aha moment at the end of the video and what you'd like for me to record next. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. So what is the best type of diet for you? Whether you're intending on losing weight or you know trying to build some muscle, whatever, you need to first have a specific goal in mind. You know, with my clients, I specialize in energy for anyone that may not know that's watching this. I specialize in energy. Now with energy, you know, that's the fundamental roots of, you know, just overall health and how people feel and how people are able to perform on a daily basis. Now you can drop, you can, you know, drift off and, and dabble in the muscle building and the weight loss realm as well. That's something I do can't do take on in with some clients, but overall it's energy and just overall health is the main focuses I primarily deal with with my clients individually that do work with me. But you simply just need to have a goal in mind. What is your goal? What is your start point? Where are you at on the you know beginning of the journey? Where do you want to be at the end of the journey? So if you're someone who may be overweight, not a problem. It's okay. Just understand that everyone has been in your shoes. Everyone has been in the same situation as you. I know I, you may look at me on social media. You may look at me in pictures and you may think that I've never been in your position. And granted, I was never classified as an obese person, but I actually suffered from low testosterone six years ago. And with that journey, I didn't gain excess weight, but I did gain about 10% extra body fat. So I went from being 10% to 18, 90% body fat. And it left me feeling, you know, just down in the dumps, depressed, and I hated myself. Um, so I can really relate to some extent to, you know, what it's like starting a journey when you went from one extreme to another and how to rebound properly, how to reverse this properly for long-term health. And like I said, the overall is finding something that's healthy for you to create that sustainable, uh, protocol that you can adhere to for the long term. And when I say long term, and this is something I refer to a lot when I work with clients, long term means by definition, it's something that you could adhere to for more than 10 years. So if you're doing an approach or in a diet, if you're following any type of specific diet that you feel like is too restrictive for you and you cannot adhere to this diet long term, 10 years plus, then you should probably have no business being on this diet because it's not going to actually serve you well for the long term. Um, the options essentially are endless. Like you can, you know, it. it it really just depends on, like I said, your, your specific goal. If it's, you have to get clear on your goal. You have to get really clear and define on what you want to achieve and create like a, a deadline for yourself. It could be something for a wedding. It could be something for a big event. It could be something for, you know, a co competition. You know, it really just depends on what you're trying to, you know, achieve this goal for, uh, just overall health and wellness. But you need to figure out which path to choose. And it could be something like you could go the low carb route. Um, you could go the fasting route, intermittent fasting. Now there's so many different approaches with fasting. Um, you could do the 16, eight window. You can do a 24 hour window. You, there's a, a lot of different extremes you could go. There's also very mild um, versions you can start out with. You know, some people do like an eight hour. I mean, you can start out at different variations, whatever is best for you. You can count calories. You know, you can do like if it fits your if it fits your macros approach. You can count calories. Um, you can weigh out your food. You can do my fitness pal. You can use a fitness tracker to count, calculate, help calculate and track your food intake and your macronutrients and your micronutrients and all these other things. But the end goal is finding something that you can stick to. You know, like I said, it could be Mediterranean. It could be the keto diet. You know, you can decide whether you want a cheat meal once a week, twice a week, every day or not. It's some people love strictness. Some people love a very regimented approach. 
Some people can't have that. So it really depends on what you need in your lifestyle to be able to benefit for the long term. So if you're not, if you're not getting the overall benefit, if you're not feeling enjoyment from this every day, you know, overall, and you don't feel like this is something you could hear to long term, this, this is where you have to make the changes right now to get in the right direction where you want to be. If you feel miserable, if you're eating nothing but bland ass, you know, chicken, broccoli, rice all the time, uh, you, you're just, you're feeling bored of the foods you're consuming. Um, definitely send me a message or comment down below. I can send you over a free recipe guy. It's free of charge. This is something I created. I put together. It has anything from entrees, desserts, uh, breakfast items, high, it's all, most of it's all high protein oriented, but it's very healthy and creative dishes. You know, there's stuff on there, anything from pho to salmon dishes, um, shakes, smoothies, all kinds of stuff. The blueberry pancakes are bomb.com. Just throwing it out there. So the stress is like something like is a huge part in any type of diet when you're trying to adhere to a new approach. Stress is going to be an all time high. If you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be very like confusing. It's going to be like, holy shit, what do I do? What do I not do? I've been in that position as well. It is when there's so many ideas out there, when there's so many possibilities out there, you can literally Google anything now these days and the information's at our fingertips. But with so much information, it makes it difficult to make a proper decision that benefits us. So, there, you need to create some standard rules for yourself. You need to create some standard guidelines and rules to be set in place to be considered upon your goals that you create on the, for moving forward. And these could be anything, these, could, these need to be clear cut decisions that classify whether or not you're eating healthy. Like we all know this, we all know, you know, deep down we know this, but um, fruits and vegetables are generally good. Like lean protein sources are generally good. Fat sources, you know, like, you know, like we, we know what, the, what healthy is while processed foods like crackers, cookies, generally you can, I don't like to say bad, but when you have a processed food that has more than one ingredient, it's, it's not in its natural form. That's something that you want to be mindful of when you're creating a, a protocol for you is that do you want more whole foods? Do you want, you know, um, less uh, processed foods? You're like, you have to be, you have to create that balance because if you're not creating that balance, then you're going to lack those micronutrients. You're going to lack the essential vitamins and minerals you need for optimal health and energy levels to fully function. Uh, the, the, the main distinction here, the main takeaway here, guys, is like moderation, commitment, discipline, but most importantly, the, the biggest takeaway from this is that, like I said earlier, you need to enjoy this. You need to be able to enjoy the process. You need to be able to wake up every fucking day and just be like, damn, I love this. Like if you're waking up and eating boring ass chicken and broccoli and rice and it's like Tupperware shit for a week and that's something you love, great. But if you hate it, find something that you can, you can adhere to but that you enjoy. Maybe it's not chicken and broccoli and rice. Maybe you still have to do some type of meal prep to – create that consistency in your life, you know, cause you have a busy hectic schedule, especially working in sales or whatever type of, you know, career you're working in the business field. But if you have to have that meal prep, create, get creative with it. You know, you can even do meal delivery services. That's a huge thing. You know, you can search online. There's numerous companies that offer this type of service even try to go local. There's companies in your area, wherever you live that have local support, local businesses, small businesses. They have these options available as well. Even going to places like Whole Foods or like a, a grocery store has, you know, meals already pre prepared, like healthy meals already ready to, you know, grab and go. So you can do options like this. Will it cost a little bit more upfront? Yes, but the, it just depends on where you're at and, and how convenient you want things to be for you. If time is an issue for you and you don't like cooking, you don't have someone to cook for you yet, um, then I would definitely look, recommend getting an option like that to really implement into your lifestyle because it's going to be such a great relief for you and it's going to cut out time. It's going to cut out. And obviously it's going to give you more time to do the things that you need to be focusing on, like your business, your goals, 
you know, other things in your life, your family time. So if you can, if you can afford that, by all means, that's, that's a great option. Um, so like I said, guys, go ahead and comment down below what your biggest takeaway so far from this is. I know this is a lot. Uh, go ahead and let me know below if, if you're watching this, what the, your biggest takeaway is from this, what your biggest aha moment is from this. So like I said, there, there's many like different effective diets out there, but the real player, the real player, I'm going to say that again, the real player is compliance and sustainability. If you can't adhere to this diet long-term, it's no good. You need to switch it up. You need to find something you need you make the necessary tweaks and adjustments. Uh, so what type of diet is best for you then? The best diet is one that's supported by science healthy and is most easily abided by the individual. So that's you. It's most easily, you're, you're able to easily follow this approach. If you can't, like I said, then don't follow it. You need to make the necessary adjustments as soon as possible so you can live a better lifestyle stress-free. A diet typically focused on, focus on whole foods, plant-based options. Yes, this can include animal proteins. I'm a big advocate of animal proteins, but there is going to be people out there in this world who are pro, you know, plant-based and they, you know, they may have a vegan approach and that's fine. If you are that person, make sure you're getting more variety in these plant-based options to get the full amino spectrum. So you're not lacking any potential um, deficiencies in protein and also getting the full amino profile from different multitude of sources. Uh, with the flexibility, you also want to make sure that it's tailored to your individual needs usually is like a great, amazing place to start. Because if it's not tailored to you, if the, a lot of times what happens is you're finding something that is online or it's pushed by like a coach or uh, a consultant or someone that's, you know, mass producing these, it, ha it tends not to be custom made for you. What happens is with this is you can't stick to it because it's too restrictive. Um, it doesn't align with your goals. You may have other health concerns that um, prohibit you from consuming certain foods, foods, you know, and this really just makes it harder for you to stick with. So find out what you enjoy. You want to make sure that's generally the parameters of a healthy lifestyle and you want to stick to that for, for as long as you can. That's the goal. You need to stick to this long term. Because a diet, that is simply a broad framework of what you can and cannot eat. That's it. That's all a diet is. What you can and cannot eat. And that's, that's what you create with your, within yourself. That's the boundaries that you create within yourself. It's that framework. My framework for my healthy diet is going to be a little different than a client or a little different than someone else or a little different than you that, that may be watching this. And that's totally fine. It's whatever makes you the best version of yourself and gets you going in the right direction, helps you feel amazing, gives you more energy and gets you to reaching your goals more effectively. That's the ultimate goal. It's not a jail sentence. It's not um, to make you feel miserable for 12 weeks, not, uh, 16 weeks, you know, four weeks, you know, a year, you know, the rest of your life. Cause if you're on this approach, if you're following something that is miserable as hell and you can't, you know, you, you wake up every day and you're like, fuck this. And you curse, you say every other word on the sun and it's, it's, it's a pain in the ass to get through it. Then you're not going to stick with it. You're going to burn out from it. So the ultimate conclusion here guys is that you, and I, I can't, I want to really reiterate this as my take home message for you today is that the diet that is best for you is the diet that you will stick to for long term. Period. End of story. So, with that said, guys, I hope you all found this video helpful. And I want to, to thank you for stopping and watching this video today. And uh, make sure you subscribe at, you know, click on that notification bell, click, give me a like, and comment down below uh, something that you found of value. And make sure. You share this with someone else you know. Spread the word. That's my only commitment I ask from you guys is I don't run ads. I don't, you know, promote this. 
it's all by word of mouth for my YouTube channel. And all I ask is that if you watch this, you find something of value from this, go ahead and share the word. Go ahead and share this with someone else you know. And make sure you subscribe and tune in for more next time, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have a great day.